Hey guys, I wanted to do a comparison video for you today on the Jujube B Light versus the Jujube Hobo B. Uh, the B Light that I have is in the Dancing Dahlias print in my perfect print placement. And the Hobo B is um, the Admiral print uh, from the Legacy Collection. I do have a uh, custom seatbelt strap made by Natalie um, attached in the coral, um, which I love. So um, these two bags are my two uh, favorite go-to daily diaper bags uh, for my three-year-old and ten-month-old. Um, if you're not familiar with each, uh, the light is more of a tote style um, bag. It's super versatile. Um, a lot of people have them um, custom minied um, and made more into a purse uh, where they're about the height of a hobo bee. Um, hobo bees are great for just mom bags, you know, like for purses, diaper bags, work bags. They're both just such great bags. I love them. Um, so I'm going to go over the features real quick of each bag and then I'm going to um, unpack my light and pack it into my hobo bee. Um, like I said, this is packed for a three year old and a 10 month old. My three year old is not quite potty trained yet, um, and my 10 month old is breastfed. So, this is just you know our daily diaper bag, a couple hours out, just quick errands, whatever. Um, so, the light um, has two pockets uh, in the front that go uh, all the way down the bag, um, it has a main interior um, pocket that has just a zip, uh, one zip pocket. And the inside and that's it. Um, super basic bag. Um, it does also have these um, little tabs here which I just have a, my pink lady star on there. Um, but you can uh, put D-rings and uh, put a messenger strap if you want to carry it that way which I'm getting around to. Um, just gives you more versatility. The Hobo Bee on the other hand um, it's got a lot more organization. It's a more structured bag. The light as the name says is very light. Um, and doesn't have a lot of structure, which is great because it can fold up um, really small. The Hobo Bee has a bottle pocket um, on either side. There's a change pad pocket in the back, which I don't carry my change pad in there. There's a little felt lined uh, zip pocket, a mommy pocket, um, and the mommy pocket has like a long zip pocket in the back, two mesh pockets, and um, key fob. And then the interior of the Hobo Bee has a long um, zip pocket in the back, two mesh pockets here, one mesh pocket um, in the front, and then a uh, zip pocket which goes um, down the length of the bag. Um, so definitely a lot more organization and compartments um, than the light. It sort of just depends on what you prefer. The Hobo Bee carries more like a purse. On um, the strap, this is obviously the custom strap, but um, same hardware as the strap that comes with it. You can adjust it so you could carry it crossbody, or you know, want to carry it more like purse style, you can shorten it. Um, so it's a really, really great bag. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, in the front of my light, in one of these pockets, um, I just have my iPhone 6. It fits in there fine. Um, but you can also fit a water bottle easily in here. I just Lately, have not been carrying sippy cups or anything because my daughter's been wanting to carry it herself. So I put my iPhone 6 in this little um, felt line pocket here, and it zips up just fine. If you have a bigger phone, like a 6 Plus or something, it's probably not going to fit quite as well. Um, and then this is something new I've been trying. Um, this is a medium set piece in the pinky square. As you can see, it fits super perfectly uh, in this pocket. It's, I mean, it's like they were made for each other. I like um, keeping straps, uh, especially if it's going to be in a tight fit, so that way I can just pull it out easier and I don't have to dig and fish for it. Um, but in here, I have all my wipes. So instead of just throwing them um, in, in here and kind of fishing around for them, I can just pull out the whole bag. Um, I just have some regular wipes, um, moist wipes, blue wipes, hand and face wipes, and they all fit in there really nice. I'm really, really liking this. Um, now, in the Hobo Bee, this could technically fit, but I generally um, take my wipes out, and um, I like to put them um, in this front mesh pocket. It will all fit in there. So normally, I don't carry um, these big, long ones. But for the sake of comparison, I will fold them up and swish them in there, because they're a little too tall, because um, the bag kind of dips down. And that is it for the outside of the light. 
Um, inside, I'll show you here. I have packed up um, real nice and neat. There's a zipper pocket in the back. That is my makeshift mommy pocket. So I can leave this on the side. Um, so I have my wallet. It's just a very thin wallet. Um, and the Hobo Bees and um, other bags that have mommy pockets on them, I like to um, keep my wallet on the key leash here, um, just so, since it is so light, so it doesn't get lost, or um, if I drop it, it doesn't go very far. Then I'm just going to pull everything out of this little pocket here. The unfortunate thing is with the light, there is not a lot of organization, so it's just kind of thrown in there, but the pocket did fit a lot, and it did zip. Um, in there, I had this little um, coin purse in the pixie dust print. It just has the extra cards that my wallet doesn't fit. And that fits super nicely in one of these little mesh pockets in the back. Um, then I also had um, some gum, which I usually just keep right behind that. My lip balm, tucked behind there. Um, I have a little sunscreen stick for my kids. Um, a Tide to Go pen and a regular pen. And then um, just a hand lotion, which I, oh, that's a little slippery, which I throw in there. And that all fits quite nicely. Um, so that's it for that uh, pocket there. Now, hopefully you can see this pretty well. Um, I have everything in pouches, um, which makes, it's pretty much essential for the light, in my opinion. It makes it pack really well. Um, my keys, there's just like a perfect little nook in there, the way I have this packed, so I just shoved them in there. Um, if you watch any of my other videos, you know that normally I like to keep my keys um, in the bottle pockets because with this key fob, it kind of makes it stick out and it's really easy to find them and grab them. Um, sometimes in the lights, I put them um, in one of the outside pockets, but generally I don't like to because that's where I keep my phone and I don't want my phone to get scratched. So it's the way I have this organized, it's actually not a big deal to just throw my keys in. They're always right on top. They don't get lost um, and it works great for me. So uh, in the back of this, I have a custom piece and the C ammo, and this just has um, activities for my daughter, um, just busy stuff, play packs, coloring books, um, little notepad, crayon stickers. Um, this can fit um, in the hobo bee, but what I like to do is um, there's this long zip pocket in the back, and all that fits perfectly in there. So if I'm using my hobo bee, I just take all this stuff out and slide it in there. It's just fine. Put the crayons in there and then zip it up. Um, and the light, since it doesn't have the organization, I kind of need the extra pouch. Um, then I have, uh, we'll start with the smaller stuff first. This is uh, my mini med kit. And in here I just have my um, antiseptic, um, Band-Aids in all sizes, Neosporin, um, packets and alcohol wipes. Now normally in my Hobo Bee, I don't use this one. Um, I actually use this little cute custom piece also in the C ammo. Um, and it basically has the same stuff, just smaller amount and minus the spray antiseptic. Um, it, it fits nicely in here. I can fit this um, in here, which I will for comparison's sake. Um, but I just prefer the smaller one um, in there, and it fits just fine. Uh, then I have this little um, purple pouch, um, and it just has mommy needs, hair ties, uh, pad, tampon, all that good stuff. And that, um, normally, I like to keep um, in this pocket here. Um, it will fit still in the mommy pocket. It just makes it a little more crowded, which is why I generally don't... Um, carry the big med kit because I don't want, I don't want it as crowded up front. Like I said, it fits, it zips, but it's just a little more crowded than I would like. All right, then on to the inside here. Um, I just have a quicklet. It's an early sunrise, and this just has a partial change of clothes for my kids. So basically the stuff that gets dirty uh, the most for each kid. So a pair of shorts for my daughter, um, and a pair of socks, and then a 12-month uh, Carter's romper on the bottom for my son. Which I actually need to change out because he is just outgrown the 12 month size. Um, and I keep forgetting to change that out. Luckily, I can still kind of squeeze them in it. Um, and Quicklets fit super great um, in these mesh pockets uh, in the back of the Hobo Bee. Sorry, I'm trying to get it where you can see pretty well. Um, then I also have a small um, travel on packing cube. Um, and this just has some toys for my son. 
Um, Casey gets bored while we're out, so just some rings, a teething ring, a little car. I could probably fit something else small in there. Um, but these usually are good enough for a quick trip out to the restaurant or if we're in Target or somewhere and he's getting fussy. And then that fits nicely um, in the mesh pocket back there. Then I have uh, my large set piece in the sea ammo. Can you see a theme here? <laughs> Love sea ammo. Um, this is just my diapering kit. Uh, so I have some disposable change pads, um, two 4T5T pull-ups. Um, ooh, need to restock. Um, normally I have two uh, size 3 diapers in here. Um, a pack of wipes, uh, some of the disposable trash bags. I have some little a and ointment and a little travel thing here. And ooh, my hand sanitizer just tucks on the side. And this I put in the middle of the bag. Hobo be the way it is, you kind of sometimes have to push and shove a little bit. It does fit. And then um, I have a small set piece in the pinky swear. And this just is my teething kit for my son. Um, I just have ibuprofen and syringe and his favorite teething toy. I was keeping some topical teeth relief in there too, but found myself not using it as much lately, so I just took it out. Um, and that uh, fits really nicely in the little um, zippered pocket. Um, in the front there. And then the only thing I have left in my light um, is a medium-sized travel on packing cube. And this, I just keep my snacks for my kids. Um, so I have all kinds of stuff in here. Pouches, peanuts, uh, I fruit snacks. Uh, I love these because they have the little um, pocket here. I have fruit strips. And then I always keep a bib in there for my son. And these are, this is my go-to uh, snack container. Now, this does take a little bit of shoving, but this does fit in here. Um, you can organize it a little differently. Um, there we go. Okay, so as you can see, all of it fits. Um, the Hobo Bee is a lot more compact. It is a lot more organized with the stuff that I like to carry in it. Um, it is um, a little bit um, crammed. Um, some of the things that I would normally do if it's too crammed like this and I don't want it to be that way, um, a lot of times one of my packs of wipes or a couple, I move um, to the back, which doesn't seem like it would help a lot, um, but it does. It takes away um, from the inside. This has to disprove me. Um, and you can um, mix up the types of pouches and things um, that you carry, but it still does zip. Um, it's just super squat right now. Um, so I would change around some of the um, particular packing cubes and things I have in it. A lot of times, um, if I am using this bag, um, I omit the um, packing cube for these toys and just throw them in here. Um, and that helps um, a lot. Um, carry less wipes, whatever. So they do kind of hold the same amount. Um, it's just I really am liking the lights better right now because as you saw when I started there was so much space on top um, and as long as you use all these pouches and things, um, the internal, the lack of internal organization doesn't really matter. So the light is quickly becoming my favorite bag and also this print's gorgeous. Um, and the nice thing about the lights is they're really cheap so you can get them, well comparatively, so you can get them in all kinds of prints, switch them out. Um, while I still love the Hobo Bee, I love all the organization, I'm kind of becoming a bee like girl. Um, so I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, I mean, I, I do want to say I still love, love the Hobo Bee, and you can fit so much in it, but oh, the light is so great, and just all that extra space on top, you could fit like a sweater or a hoodie or something, or anything you're picking up extra at the store. Um, so I hope this was helpful for you guys and thank you so much for watching.